In today's video, I will be discussing five upcoming extreme demons that are phenomenal, and I can't wait for them to come out. Uh, I know I've done three other videos of me talking about the best upcoming extreme demons. There's three top 25 videos. Actually, there's one. Uh, there's also one top 50 video as well. Uh, but this video is a little bit differently. I'm going to be talking about five, and I'm going to be going more in depth and having more of a discussion on how I think the level is. And another plus side, four out of five of these levels I have not showcased on the channel before and really talked about. Three out of five of them are finished. Two of them have some parts finished but not overall done. Uh, these levels, in my opinion, I, I had a lot of options to deal with, but these five I feel like are the best that are coming out. Levels like No Scapes and Electric Force I could have used. But I feel like A, they're too popular, or B, I wasn't too interested in them. But either way, these five extremes are really good, and I cannot wait for them to come out. Yeah, uh, that will be it for me. Uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button below. Um, so yeah, I could do that. That'd be cool. You'd be a cool person. You'll be officially cool. And also, join the Discord server. We need people. We need people. All right. And you have a good chance of talking to me if you're interested. I don't know. I'm not that interesting of a person, but. Uh, if you're going to decide to subscribe, make sure you hit the Discord server too. Alright, see you guys later. Ampreon is a solo extreme demon made by Kivy, and this has the most potential to be my personal favorite extreme demon in the game. Kivy started making this extreme after his latest banger level named Totem. And from what I heard is that Imperium is the same difficulty or maybe a little bit harder than Totem. This level is clearly realism, which hold my favorite types of levels in the game like Black Flag, Knight Rider, and even Dreamfully. But I think it's safe to say that this level completely blows them out of the water in quality. First off, the song and ambience that comes with this level is the coolest thing that this level has to offer besides the decoration. It makes the theme so much better and unique, which is my cup of tea. Over the last six months, Kivy has been showing videos of every single part and I can say that every single part looks amazing and there's no inconsistencies of any kind that people have to worry about. I honestly can't wait for this to come out and give it a try. The gameplay, we obviously don't know how good it'll be, but it seems fine and doesn't look annoying by any means. Probably the biggest concern that this level has is how many objects there is, which I can see, but hopefully there will be a powerful LDM that is still reasonable what makes the level good. Anos here is a level that my friend Smarter showed me since the level is fully finished and it's going through the final stages upon release, and I must say that this level is incredible. Seeing this type of theme be finally executed correctly for the trade even makes me so happy because it is really original. The sky theme is great and not used that much for extreme demons. Unlike the last level, this is a collab and it is really impressive on how every single part looks differently and good at the same time, which for sure adds value to the level 100%. I would also like to point out that it uses a Creo song that is not overused compared to the other ones. If I am not mistaken, there are only like two to none that use this Creo song. I really love every Creo song and it's a shame that a lot of songs are overused, but like I said, this is one that is not overused and when it was used in this level, it is used perfectly. The effects and chaoticness in this level manages to stay clean and fairly simple, giving it that slick look that a lot of extremes lack and try to achieve. The gameplay seems like a flow extreme that is confirmed to low-end in difficulty with some parts looking easily like an insane demon, but maybe due to its length and chaoticness in some parts, it will probably make an extreme demon. Overall, I think this is one of the best beginner extremes when it comes out and hopefully the gameplay will enhance that statement. Conclusion is the final level of a trilogy that DreamZone GD has made starting from Controller to Confusion to now Conclusion. While Controller is only decent, I really love Confusion as it's one of my favorite extremes. In this level, Conclusion manages to be even better. According to DreamZone, the war in this level is that you just escaped the Confusion Laboratory into the destructive place the explosion created, with fire flaming everywhere. Slowly as the player progresses through the level, he starts losing control of his mind, and the level becomes more and more hectic and chaotic, with hearing and seeing hallucinations of monsters. This right here is a perfect example of a level of personality and love being put into it. Not just factory produced with no thoughts or feelings just like the 50% of extreme demons in the game. Although this is apparently top 100 in difficulty on the demons list, 
but still looks easily the most interesting and potentially the most fun demon on the list. Even though I can't speak for gameplay, I can sure tell you that it's super intimidating and super fun to watch with a lot of chaotic effects and decoration. When the level releases, this will for sure be one of the most intense extreme demons. This level is only around 50% complete, so the parts that are being shown in the video are fully done according to the creator. Personally, Dreams of GD is one of my favorite creators being up there with Kibi, Kulik, and KDAMS, and this is easily his best part. Sadokinesis has been all over my channel being in two videos that have done well on the channel. The reason why it is here again is because it is finally finished! Long story short, this is the best leading extreme demon in the game in my opinion. The way the level ends and begins are so cool and unique transitions to make the level feel so smooth. Another bonus is that there has never been an extreme with an alien laboratory theme, especially at this high of a degree. They have also found a perfect soundtrack to match the intensity theme of the level as well. This is an obvious collab which just like Atmosphere stays completely consistent in quality. This level also just has some of the best creators in the game like Kulik, Bleed, and many more. Now I know you can't always take that for granted, but this is a masterpiece of a project. The effects are just as stunning as the decoration, and like I said before, the transitions are absolutely phenomenal. From what I heard is that the difficulty ranges from Extended List to Black Blizzard, which I just heard from rumors, I don't know if this is actually true. All I know is that it doesn't look impossible. Speaking of gameplay, I really like how it plays. The duels are a key thing for me, as they look satisfying, not buggy, and overall very fun to play. Yes, I know the level is not out yet, but it looks fine to play. As for optimization, it is probably very object heavy, therefore needing an LDM, so hopefully they can figure that out without having any trouble. Angel Seeker is a level that my other friend showed me and I was really impressed on how it started with its first few parts being finished. This level, unlike most of the others, is nowhere near finished with only a few parts fully completed. The only major concern that I have for this level is how every single part will come together. The few parts that I am showing in this video right now are the parts that I like and the parts that are finished. I am just hoping that it stays the same style and ends up merging nicely to make it not a mess. The two to three parts that are done are amazing and I'm just scared that it will be inconsistent because of how good they are for its theme. But if it turns out good, this level could be better than most of the levels I've shown today or maybe just, just as good, but at the end of the day it's going to be a great level if it turns out good and consistent. The potential right here is sky high and I cannot wait to see this thing. The design really reminds me of Lumina and Protoflicker if they were fused into together. I am a really big sucker for this type of design and vibe in an extreme demon. The gameplay looks pretty nice and nothing too bad to play. There's not too much to say about solo just because it's still in the works, but it for sure has a lot of potential in it and it can definitely be one of the new best upcoming extreme demons in the game. 